Okay, can you find where's the Tokyo Tower? Tokyo Tower is the Tokyo Tower. So sa gabi guys, pumunta naman kami sa Tokyo Tower para makita yung Sky Tree. So ayan yung Sky Tree. So before we proceed, I'm gonna do my intro muna. See you later! guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, ay pupuntahan natin yung dalawang pinaka-famous na tower dito sa Japan. Yung Tokyo Sky Tree, tsaka yung Tokyo Tower. So, first, puntahan na natin yung Tokyo Sky Tree. So, ayan guys. Firstly, it is the tallest structure in Japan. Currently at 634 meters. It is the second highest in the world. Falling short of the 829.8 meters Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai. But since the Middle Eastern building is technically classed as a skyscraper, Tokyo Sky Tree wins the title of the world's tallest tower. Despite the massive crowds that suggest the contrary, Sky Tree's primary use is that of a broadcasting tower. It beams out both TV signal and radio waves for national broadcaster in HK, as well as TV Asahi, TV Tokyo, and a number of other channels. Until Skytree officially opened in 2012, the 332.9 meters Tokyo Tower was the main structure in the business of transmission. Guys, now let's go inside the Tokyo Sky Tree. So this is the main entrance. So this is the first floor of the Tokyo Sky Tree. So this is where the ticket counter located and the Sky Tree shop. So ayan. plan to go to Tembo Deck. So now we're gonna buy ticket at the ticket machine. Ayan. So you can choose time on what time you want to go up. So the ticket price guys differs on which deck you want to go. The Tembo Deck or the Tembo Galeria. The Tembo Deck is 350 meters and the Tembo Galeria is 450 meters which is more expensive. So this is the Tembo Deck ticket price. So for 18 years old and over, it is 2,300 yen. For 12 to 17 years old, 1,650 yen and 6 to 11 years old, it is 1,000 yen. The Tembo Tembo deck at 350 meters, this gives you an awesome view over the city and all the way to Mount Fuji on clear days. So going up to the main deck, you can only use these powerful elevators that would go against gravity. And it should be done not only at high speeds but also without dizziness or any other hassles. The Sky Tree is equipped with four high-speed Toshiba elevators. Each of these elevators has a capacity of 40 persons and a speed of 600 meters per minute so now we're at the tembo deck already so this is what you see when there are many people here it is difficult to find a place to see the view but sometimes the other japanese when they see you they leave their place and give you space to see the view so i am guys enjoying the panoramic view of the biggest city in the world so we only stayed here at daylight because at night we plan to go to Tokyo Tower. But here every day from 5.30pm until 12am, almost 2,000 LED lights illuminate Tokyo Sky Tree. So in addition, the annual event includes illuminations that brightly light up the tower in various colors based on the season and different themes. For example, during the Christmas season, the tower shows various displays of warm and chiting lights. So you can check the full lighting schedule at the official Tokyo Tower website. 
If you want to explore the tower and surroundings, visit Tokyo Sulamachi, a huge shopping complex located on the lower floors of the Tokyo Sky Tree. So it has over 300 shops and restaurants, offering a large collection of products and great dishes. There are lots of fun things to do at the iconic tower other than just going up and enjoying the view. Do you know guys how did the tower get its name? So the name of Tokyo Sky Tree came from the image of a massive tree that points towards the skies. So it was decided by the public in 2008. Alongside other prominent suggestions including Rising Tower, Dream Tower, and Edo Tower. And one reason for the name of Sky Tree prevailing is the warm and hopeful image that it evokes. Can you find where's the Tokyo Tower? Tokyo Tower is... designed Tokyo Sky Tree. So Tokyo Sky Tree was designed by the sculptor Mr. Kichi Sumikawa. The tower was created with a very Japanese-like shape in mind as it is inspired by the curve of a Japanese sword and the rise of the pillars typically found at shrines and temples. And what do the changing colors and nightly light up mean? So, the Tokyo Sky Tree Tower's blue lights represent the chic and trend-setting spirit of Edo. And the royal purple hints at Edo's elegance and grace. At the same time, the orange colors evoke the image of a special flag called Noburi. So, these are the three primary color patterns. But during special periods such as Christmas and cherry blossom season, Tokyo Sky Tree also tends to shine in entirely different colors. And why is the Sky Tree so tall? So with a whooping height of 634 meters, the Tokyo Sky Tree was recognized as the world's tallest tower by Guinness World Records on November 11, 2011. To return to the ground, you'll have to go to floor 345 where you'll be taken down again. But before that, make sure to take another elevator to go to floor 345. 40. A real thrill awaits here. Look all the way to the ground through the glass floor to realize just how high in the air you are. So that's scary. So we're on the ground now. I had so much fun enjoying the panoramic view of the Tokyo Sky Tree. So next we're gonna go to the Tokyo Tower. So we went here at night guys because it is especially pretty at night when it is illuminated. Look how beautiful it is. So the Tokyo Tower, same also with the Tokyo Sky Tree. The colors on the tower lighting change according to the season. So what time does Tokyo Tower lights turn off? Generally, the lights switch off at 12 a.m. You know guys, there is a legend that if you see the moment that lights turn off with your lover, you will become happy together. And many couples gather below around midnight to gaze up at Tokyo Tower. You know guys, the Tokyo Tower was built in post-war Japan as an observation and transmission tower. Still attracts many visitors by itself. Its unique location in the center of the city, proximity to the hip area of Roppongi Hills, and the beautiful illumination in the evenings make it an important tourist spot. The Sky Tree may have replaced the Tokyo Tower as a transmission tower, but it still continues to have its place in our hearts for visitors and a long time Tokyo residents alike. So from here guys, from the Tokyo Tower, you can also see the Tokyo Sky Tree. It really looks magnificent at night thanks to the thousands of lights that shines brightly. Do you know guys that there are two types of light ups at Tokyo Tower? The landmark light and the infinity diamond view. A new light up which started this year with the new era Reiwa.
So let's start with the landmark light. So the landmark lights, there are two different patterns, the summer version and the winter version. In the summer version, it is silver lights called metal halide lamps. And in the winter, lights called high-pressure sodium lamps with a warm orange tone are used. And next is the Infinity Diamond Veal. So, it is a new light-up for the Rewa era. It was launched in October of 2019. So, there are 268 LED lights set up on the 17 floors which can all be controlled individually and produce an endless range of light colors and patterns. Diamond Veal lights up on Monday every week in 12 different colors depending on the month. During the national holidays and or special events, Tokyo Tower lights up in different patterns according to the occasions. Is Tokyo Tower worth visiting? Visiting the tower during the day gives a great overview of the city. Visiting it at night is breathtaking. Do you know guys, when the 90 meter long antenna was bolted into place on October 14, 1958, Tokyo Tower was the tallest freestanding tower in the world, taking the title from the Eiffel Tower by 9 meters. Despite being taller than the Eiffel Tower, Tokyo Towers only weighed about 4,000 tons, 3,300 tons less than the Eiffel Tower. Tokyo Tower is so famous because it is a symbol of post-war recovery in the center of the city. It was built in 1958 and standing 333 meters tall. Tokyo Tower serves as a symbol of Tokyo's rebirth after World War II. So Tokyo Tower inspired by the Eiffel Tower in Paris. So ayun guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.